Hello friends, welcome again. This is the session 12 in the SQL series. And in this session, we will talk about what is the difference between where and having clause in SQL. A very important question, even from an interview point of view. So let us start. Before talking theoretically, I will demonstrate and then we will go with the theoretical definition later. So let me quickly go to my IDE where I have some tables. Let's see what tables I have. Uh, I can say show tables. Okay. So basically we have courses and students table. Let us play with the students table. So we will take the students table into consideration. So what we will do is First, I will say select star from students just to see whether the data is there or not. Around eight records are there. Good enough to get a fair understanding. Okay. So now, what if my problem statement is something like I want to uh, get I want to get the total number of students who have joined from each source. The sources are like LinkedIn, YouTube, right? Students are getting to know from uh, about me from these platforms, right? Now, what if I want to get to know that, okay, from LinkedIn, how many candidates have uh, registered? From YouTube, how many candidates have registered and so on? Then you know the query simple. So basically, the query will be select source of joining because that's a column name where we have data like LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, things like that. Comma, I can do a count star for the aggregation because I have to aggregate the data based on source of joining. So definitely in this case, I have to do grouping on source of joining. So I will say select source of joining, comma count star from students, from students group by source of joining. You might be wondering what's so special we have covered this. That's fine. Let's talk more about it. And I'm giving a alias name. The name of alias is total. Let me just run it. Go back to my IDE and see. So this says through friends, one person has joined. Through Google, two people have registered for my classes. Through LinkedIn, two people. Through Quora, one. And through YouTube, two. That's how we get to know. Now, what if I want to, let's say, uh, for example, say that I want only, or I want to display only the rows where total is greater than one. That means I only want Google, LinkedIn, and YouTube because Total is greater than one. I mean, more than one person has joined through whatever platforms I want to see that. What can I do in that case? So I will write here what my problem statement is. I want to uh, know the lead sources to which more than one person has registered. In such case, the answer should be Google to LinkedIn to and YouTube to. What to do in order to get this? What should I do in order to get this? Right now, this is our query, as you know. Now you might be wondering, oh, we can say where and then uh, where total greater than one. I hope you might be feeling that this can be done because already we have got these results i'm not sure whether i can copy this results let's see oh okay yeah so now this is our data now you might feel that we can do a filter based on total and we can use the where clause like this but this will not work i will show you that if i take this 
and try running this will not work why i'll tell you the reason is this where clause whatever we have this can be used before group by that means where clause is good to filter individual records before any grouping has happened so i'll write it here so where clause is used to do or to filter the individual records before aggregation right in the previous case what we were doing is first we were doing a aggregation using group by and then we were thinking to filter the aggregated records using where it won't work where says i do not know how to deal with grouping i can only deal with individual records i hope this is clear so th that is why it has failed now what could be the solution to this we could have very well said instead of where we could have used having so let me just copy this and instead of where we can say having so having is used after group by and it is mainly used to filter the records after the grouping has happened i hope this is clear let me just run it and show you the results and we can see the results as we expected so where clause has not worked having has worked reason being or what is the difference where is used before the aggregation on individual records to filter out individual records having is used after the aggregation to filter out aggregated records right i believe this should be pretty much clear to you now one more thing i'll write a query and then you tell me what will happen what if i want to get the count only for linkedin that from linkedin how many total people have registered right i want to know from linkedin how many total people have registered what can be the query let me just copy it and modify so i will write my problem statement i want to know the people who registered through linkedin total number of people i want to know the count of people who registered through linkedin now the query can be select select uh, sorts of joining let's say i want sorts of joining also that fine comma count star as total from students grouped by source of joining so till now it is as usual because we will get aggregations of all and we could very well say having having source of joining equal to linkedin because you know that after the group by where won't work having is the only choice that we have so this should give us the total number of people who have joined through linkedin let me just try running and we can see through linkedin two people have joined if we try replacing having with where clause here it will give us an error you can see this so basically having is what we have to use but now you might be wondering that this is not a good way because in this case what we are doing first we are trying to find the results for all lead sources even linkedin google youtube we are doing complex aggregations after that we are just filtering for linkedin that means when we want it for linkedin only why are we not filtering early we should do filters as early as possible in the game right because kind of we are doing our complex activities on 10 lead sources after that we are just filtering for one after doing all the complicated work how does it make sense so we could have applied this filtration 
before the group by class. So instead of this, I would prefer the perfect or better query could be select this having clause I will remove. And I can say select floats of joining comma count star as total from students where source of joining equal to LinkedIn. That means I am writing where clause before group by which is totally okay. That means I am filtering the individual records before even doing the aggregation so that I only aggregate the LinkedIn set of data. I will not have to aggregate Google, YouTube and all of that. So this will save a lot of effort and will be more performant. Even though the output is same, but as I said, we are learning SQL the right way. Our aim is not just to get the output and be happy, but the query should be performant. Let me try running it and show you the results. Same results, but more performant because we are not doing all of the hard work. We are saying, okay, first I want to get only the individual records, which I have to aggregate and doing the aggregation. I believe this should be fine. Now, uh, are there cases where both we can use where clause and having? Can we use where and having at same place or, or in same query? Yes, we can very well use. Where will be used to filter the records before group by? Then we are very sure that, okay, uh, I want to only go ahead with this kind of data, with this kind of individual records. For example, let's have a scenario. What I want is, I want uh, to know the locations, the location from which more than two or uh, from which more than one student has joined. You know that locations are there in our table, Bangalore, Hyderabad. I want to know such locations from which more than one student have joined, right? But also I want to make sure that I am checking only for people with more than 10 years of experience. And the student's experience is more than 10 years, right? So basically I just want to consider students with more than 10 years of experience. That's the first thing. Second thing is I want only the locations from where more than one student has joined. These are the two clauses I have. In such case, what we can do is we can say select location comma count star from students group by from students group by what would be the group, grouping criteria? It will be location. Location, right? Now, experience more than 10 years that we can easily do before group by. This does not require grouping to find it, right? So before this group by, so first of all, count star I will name as, let's say, total from students where years of experience equal to or greater than 10 sorry so you can see this filtration i am doing before my group i right let me just see if recording is happening yeah so this filtering i am doing before my group by because why do i have to first do grouping and check that i can eliminate the records as early as possible so that i do not have to do more of grouping later so group by location having total greater than one as simple as that because this thing whatever we are writing in having can only be checked after aggregation has happened because until we do the aggregation how do we know what's the count as simple as that but anything which could have been done before i am trying to do before so the thought process should be do filtering 
as early as possible so that we do not do heavy crunching and then later filtering it out. That should be the thought process. So let me just see. And we can see Pune is such location from which three people have joined and then all of the candidates are more than 10 years of experience. Now let me try to reduce the number of years of experience to see if the results changes five years. Then of course from Bangalore we have two people, Chennai we have two people, Pune we have two people. So with this kind of we have got clarity that what is the difference between group uh, where and having. Where is used before group by, having is used after group by. Where is used for individual so I will write it where is used before group by and do filtering on individual records. Having is used after group by and do filtering on aggregated records right and i would say we can use where and having in the same query also also i want to say that where is more performant than having but it's that not everything you can do through where because sometimes you require to aggregate the data and then filter based on that aggregated data there having is the only choice but whenever you want to fil filter individual records then you should go for where not having because if you go with a having clause there then you are doing a lot of hard work and then uh, i mean doing filtering later which is not a good scenario so whenever you can do or apply where you should be doing that and when the need comes definitely you have to go with having also so with this you should have got a clear clarity and why i emphasized on these points repeatedly is because this is a very important interview question right a lot of chances are there when you go for sql interview definitely this thing will be asked and as i continuously say the aim is not just to get the results results anyone can get all what you have to focus is are you getting the results quickly and you can get the results quickly when you know the internals when you know what to use where so with this let's wind up the session and i hope you liked it thanks a lot